This is question number one and it carries four marks. It says given that 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 4 is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c plus dx plus e over x squared minus 4 where x can't be equal to plus or minus 2, find the values of the constants a, b, c, d and e. A few different approaches with this one. I'm simply going to multiply through by the denominator of the fraction on the left hand side and then equate coefficients. So 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4. That's on the left hand side of the identity. On the right we'll have ax squared multiplied by x squared minus 4. We'll have plus bx multiplied by x squared minus 4 plus c multiplied by x squared minus 4 then we'll have plus dx plus e as the x squared minus 4s are going to cancel. So now if we look at terms, so I'm going to equate coefficients, we're going to look at terms in x to the fourth. So on the left I've got 3, then on the right the only term in x to the fourth I'm going to get is ax to the fourth. So we can see from here now that a will be equal to 3. If we look at terms in x cubed, on the left we've got minus 2. Then on the right, all I've got now is bx cubed. I can get no other terms in x cubed. So we can see from here now that b will be equal to minus 2. If we now look at terms in x squared, on the left, minus 5. Then on the right, we're going to have minus 4a, so minus 4a, and we'll have on here now plus c. So no other terms in x squared. We already know that a is 3, so we can simply write that minus 5 is equal to minus 12 plus c, subbing in a, so we can see that c is going to be equal to 7. If we now look at terms in x, Terms in x, we've got none on the left-hand side, so we can write 0. Terms in x on the right-hand side, we'll have minus 4b, so minus 4b, and then we're going to have plus d. We already know that uh, b is going to be minus 2, so 0 will be equal to 8 plus d. We can see that d will be equal to minus 8. Then if we look at the constant, so just jot him a constant down. On the left, that's going to be minus 4. And then on the right, if we look for the constant, we're going to have now minus 4c plus e. So minus 4c plus e. We've already found that c is going to be 7. So we can say minus 4 is equal to minus 28 plus e. So that gives me that e is going to be 24. So that is one way of doing that question. There's a whole host of different approaches, four marks, entirely up to you. You want to try, might want to try polynomial long division. You might want to look at some other methods. This is one valid method to simply multiply through and equate coefficients.